randomly only see. So today I wanted to bring a tutorial to you, something easy to turn your video from blah to movie-like. So if you're interested in seeing this, then stay with me for the rest of the video. Okay, so we're starting fresh, so let's just go ahead and delete this. We don't need any of that. And for the sake of the tutorial, we'll go ahead and get rid of all of this. We want to just start fresh. Anyways, so basically, let's go ahead. We're starting with a clean slate here in Premiere Pro. So we want to bring in our clip that we're going to use. So I'm just using some stock footage. So I'm just importing it, just dragging it right in here. So now I want to just pull what I would like to use. So for this purpose, it um, really does not matter. I'm just going to pull some in and out points. So I'm just hitting I for in and let's just pull over here. O for out. So now I'm going to drag the video into the sequence play it back you will notice that it is just a pretty cool video that's just it there's nothing special about it it just looks nice now we're going to add an effect to it so the effect to add is just simply crop so we're just going to go over to our effects panel and hit crop here and then just go ahead and drag it over to our clip so if you try to go and play the clip back you will notice that nothing has happened well that's because we have to do some tweaking to that crop effect so now we're going to just go up to our effect controls panel and scroll down to crop you'll notice here under crop that there's left top right and bottom so generally you will notice that movies are cropped from top and bottom that's the cinematic look not left to right so we're gonna do top and bottom so what i usually do is 15 percent so 15% for the top and 15% for the bottom. So now that we have 15% for top and 15% for the bottom, you'll notice that it looks like a movie. So we're gonna just play it back and see how it looks. Okay, so it looks pretty good. There's really nothing special still. It looks good this way and you can easily stop here if you would like and you can add titles or whatever you want to do with it. But I like to do a little bit more to it and this is still something that is very easy but it just makes it a little bit nicer. So what we're going to do is bring this cinematic feel in like fading it in. So to do that we want to come to the beginning of our clip and basically we're going to create keyframes starting off with 15% throughout. So from start to finish, our clip is 15% cropped from top and bottom. So what we're gonna do is take this down to zero for the top and create a keyframe by pressing this button here. And then also we're gonna do the same for bottom and create that keyframe. Don't forget to click to create the keyframe so you'll notice that the keyframe is right there. Okay, so now that we have 0% for top and bottom, you'll notice that our clip is completely back just the way it was when we imported it. That's not okay. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is scroll all the way to the end of our clip. And we don't see anything, so just hit your arrow key to go back until you do see something. So now we're just going to go back to the effect controls panel and make our top 15% and our bottom 15%. So if you try to go and play it back, you'll notice that it will fade into that 15%. Now that looked okay, but it still looked a little laggy and it just didn't really appear smooth. So to smoothen things out, what you wanna do is highlight your keyframes. Highlight the last two keyframes and two fingers to the mouse pad on the Mac and you will want to ease in to these keyframes. So we're easing these keyframes in because they are coming from something. So these two right here, we're going to highlight those right click or double tap and we're going to ease out so we're easing out because there's they're being pushed out into these so ease out from the first two and ease in here for the last ones so now when we go to replay our clip it will be so much more smooth
Okay, so you'll notice that it's not as laggy anymore, but it's just happening too slow. It's just taking too long to get there. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead and highlight our last two keyframes and just pull them in a little bit closer. Now let's play that back. I'm just gonna put it in full so you guys can really see it. And we're done. Super simple, something that does not take long at all, literally can take you less than 10 minutes. It's easy, great for beginners, for experienced people. I hope that you are able to use this and that this was super easy to understand. If you love this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel so you can get more tutorials. Let me know down in the comments what you would like to see and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.